everyone, my name is Daria. Today we are going to talk about Moscow and some interesting places which you have to visit when you are in Moscow. Some years ago I made a video about 10 must visit places. It's like uh, when you think about Moscow, you think about these uh, places. If you have two or three days, you must go there. But if you have a week or more in this beautiful city, I have another list for you. And we start from a good place and go to the greatest place. So this list was made by me. It's only my opinion and I just recommend you to go there when you have your free time and when you are in Moscow. Let's start. In Moscow Hermitage Garden Park. Hermitage is a cute small park in the center. It's near Pushkinskaya and Perskaya station. I guess when you are here, you absolutely 100% go to Pushkinskaya station and the Pushkinskaya square, and you may check this uh, small cute park. The next place is Moscow Zoo, Moskovsky Zoo Park. It's near Brikadne and Krasnopresninskaya metro station. Moscow Zoo is the first zoo opened in Russia. Since my childhood, Moscow Zoo was redesigned and it became modern. There are a lot of different animals, uh, monkeys, bears, uh, like sea creatures uh, and other animals. So I definitely recommend you to visit uh, this uh, place. From the zoo you may walk to Gothic Cathedral. It's in town. 15 minutes walking in Russian we call it Sabor Niparochnova Zachatya Prisutoy Dievy Marie. This is the largest Catholic cathedral in Russia. You may buy a ticket and listen to a beautiful organ music. So the next must visit place is uh, Kozlov Club. For people who love jazz, fusion, ethnic music, soul, it's on top on the list of 100 best jazz clubs in the world and also world famous musicians play here the club site has an english version if you want to learn more information about this place i will put it here for you down below in the description box. Yama is kind of a new place, it's on Hachlovska Ploshit, Hachlovska Square. It's a kind of amphitheater and local people call it Yama. You may see performances there, you may have a lunch, listen to music, uh, have a rest. <laughs> It's better to get here from Chisti Prudy metro station. On the way to Yama, you pass through the pound and a lot of uh, cafes and beautiful buildings. By the way, streets near Chisti Prudy are popular and you may find a lot of uh, people there, a lot of musicians, uh, some performances, also music bands, street artists. The next place is the Wall of Grief. Stena Skorbi. The monument was built four years ago to the victims of political persecution by Joseph Stalin during the Soviet era. It's between Sukhrivska and Krasny Varota metro station. I put landmark the address near this place in the description box. Food courts in Moscow are getting more popular. In this video I will mention only two of them uh, because I have been there lately and they are one of the famous here. The first one is Central Market, Centralny Rynok. It's a crowded spot, you may, you may search for a free seat for some time, but there are a lot of different cuisine from all over the world. The next one is Depo. Depo is a giant gastro market. It was opened in 2019 on the site of a former tram depot. That's why it's called Depo. In this place there are more than 75 cafes with Thai, Moroccan, Georgian, Russian, American, uh, Greek uh, food. <music> I 
it, I decided to combine all these uh, places because they are a part of our district near Kurska metro station. All these places used to be plants in the past and now it was redesigned into art district. Arma is the closest spot near metro station, Kurska metro station. Arma was reconstructed for offices, but still here you may take a walk and, and look at the bizarre shapes of buildings. Vinzavod is a center for contemporary art, which contains various galleries, uh, workshops of artists, showrooms. young artists implement here their project. And our play is the last one in this uh, district. It's considered to be a place for designers and architects. Here you will find design studios, uh, showrooms, photo studios and maybe some design shops where you can uh, look for some interesting art and buy it. Paleontological Museum, the Orlov Museum of Paleontology. I opened for myself this place only this year, but it was founded in 1937. And I don't know how it happened that I don't hear about this place. The space is divided by zones and you will see evolution of the organic world on Earth. It looks like wood, but it's <laughs> also, you may install the app and learn more information in English. As for me, I was impressed by skeletons of dinosaurs. There are a lot of skeletons of dinosaurs. So I think you will like this place. And on the top of this list is the Museum of Cosmonautics. Oh, it's It was reopened on January 2021, so this year. By the way, you should buy a ticket in advance. It happened to be one of the hugest museums in the world. I was surprised and excited to watch the next exhibit. You will see the first artificial satellite of the Earth first space suits, space ships, how cosmonauts lived in the cosmos. Thank you guys for watching. If you have been to this place, please write in the comment section what was the most interesting place for you. I have some more places in mind which I want to share with you, but I will wait until there are 10. And thank you guys for watching.